Greetings everyone. Vanupatra brings to you the news highlights of 19th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has constituted a five-member supervisory committee headed by the former Chief Justice of the Bombay and Rajasthan High Courts, Pradeep Nandrajog, for the protection and renovation of several heritage sites in the state of Rajasthan. News highlights from the High Courts, starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has issued directions regarding the presence of POXO victims during bail hearings while observing that the same has an adverse impact on the psyche of the victim and directed that the victim can be produced virtually before the court either by the I.O. or a support person. The High Court, while observing that a child's future cannot be allowed to be spoiled and blemished by barring him from taking an exam, has held that barring a student from taking an exam on ground of non-payment of fees would be infringement of rights guaranteed under Article 21 of the Constitution. The High Court has held that awarding costs by a stroke of the pen without stating reasons would fly in the face of Section 31 sub clause 3 as per which an arbitral award shall state the reasons on which it is based apart from being opposed to well-accepted canons of fairness and justice. News highlights from the Allahabad High Court The Allahabad High Court has issued a notification stating that the terms district judiciary and trial courts shall be used instead of subordinate judiciary and subordinate courts respectively in reference to all courts other than the High Court in Uttar Pradesh. The High Court has refused to quash an FIR and stay the arrest of five women members of the alleged Nafisa gang which is allegedly involved in filing false rape and SCST Act cases against innocent persons for extracting money. Other news highlights from High Courts in the country? The Karnataka High Court has held that the individual role of an accused cannot be considered while deciding bail application filed by the accused who was part of an unlawful assembly and allegedly committed the offence in pursuance of a common object. Other news highlights in the country? A Delhi court has held that there is no statutory exemption to journalists from disclosing their sources to investigating agencies, especially if such disclosure is necessary for aiding and assisting in investigation of a criminal case. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.